Hello, this is Carl Harding. This is just a short video to show you the basics of setting up a recurring payment or subscription payment button for your website for people to pay from PayPal. Um, and you can also use this button in uh, emails. So the first thing you need to do, log into your PayPal account. And once you're logged in, there's a tab there called Merchant Services. You click on that tab and you will get this page. Create payment buttons for your website. Click on there. Scroll down a little bit and you've got a button there that says create button now. This is just the basics so I'm going to skip the optional parts such as that one there. So first of all for subscription or a recurring payment you need to select subscriptions from the drop down menu there. Give the item a name. Okay you can call it whatever you like. Um, select your currency in there. You can customize the button in several ways, but this is all optional, so I'll leave you to read up on that. Um, this video is mainly just to create a basic button to get people started. Um, so you've got the billing amount in here, so whatever that's going to cost. And the payments can be daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly, or you can select every two months, every three months. It's all up to you there. Um, how many payments there are, so if it's just for a year, you put in 12 payments, one per month for 12 months, or you can just leave it to go on forever. You can, if you want to, offer a trial period, £1 for the first month, for example, or free for the first month. If you have your secure merchant account ID set up, then rather use that one. If not, then go for use my primary email address. These last two steps you don't need to worry about too much. Um, this one says save button at PayPal, which is a good idea. That is a default option, so leave it as that. Step three, if you need the customer's personal address, yes or no, it's up to you. You can put a, um, a link in here. If the customer clicks on your PayPal button and then they don't pay, um, PayPal will send them to whichever link you put in here. And you can also put a link in here when they've paid you, they get sent to whichever link you put in there. But if you're using the payment via email, then you may have other ways of which you're doing it. So that's all up to you. Don't worry about this one. Now click on Create button. Now here you have two options. You've got Website option and Email option. Now for the Website option, you need to select all of that text in that box and copy it. and you'll paste that into your HTML editing program which I'll show you in a moment. Now for email, the simplest way to do it in an email is to copy that text there and I'll show you now how to paste that into an email. What I didn't tell you, mainly because I didn't notice, you do have a select code button down here. So I can select the code for you automatically and then you can copy it that way. And that's the same for here. Oops, and copy. Um, I did it the way I did it because it's just out of habit. Right, the easiest way to put a payment link into Gmail so I put, in, uh, put in some text here. Please click, click here to pay. You highlight the text, and if you come down here, you've got a link. Insert link. And the link you copied from PayPal, you just paste into there. Say OK. And that's it. You're ready to go. You can just type in some extra text up there and whatever you want to do. I don't know why that's underlined. There shouldn't be a link. There you go. And off you go. And your customer will click on that link. It will take them to the payment page on PayPal. And there you go. Simple as that. Later on you may want to add another button to your to another email or to another website. All you need to do is log into PayPal, 
click on Merchant Services, you'll get this screen here. On the right hand side here you've got Quick Links, My Saved Payment Buttons. So click on My Saved Payment Buttons. And there's the buttons I've created. You click on the little drop down menu there, you can edit the button, you can view the code. You need to view the code if you just want to copy the code to another email. Create another one that's similar, or you can delete it. This is also a place where you can create a new button if you wish. And that's it. Thank you very much. You've been listening to Carl Harding.